there is a form of an equation that we can write down that reveals the intercepts really easily. And that is the so-called standard form. The standard form of an equation is the form ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are all numbers that we know. They're all specific integers with no factors in common to all three of them. And it's written so that the first one is positive. Here's an example of an equation in standard form. 4x plus 3y equals 24. 4, 3, and 24 are all integers. There are no factors that are common to all three of them. 4 and 24 have factors in common. 3 and 24 have factors in common. But the list 4, 3, and 24 don't have any factors shared between all three of them. And finally, the first coefficient, 4, is a positive integer. What's good about standard form? In standard form, the algebra involved in finding the x and y intercepts is very easy. So in this example up here, let's say we wanted to find the x and y intercepts and then graph the equation 4x plus 3y equals 24. So to find the x-intercept, that's where y equals 0. So we'll have 4x plus 3 times 0 equals 24. 3 times 0 is just 0. And so we just have 4x equals 24. Dividing both sides by 4, we get x equals 6. The x-intercept is the point x equals 6, y equals 0. For the y-intercept, that's where x equals 0. We'll have 4 times 0 plus 3y equals 24. 4 times 0, that's just 0. We're just left with 3y equals 24. Divide both sides by 3, and we get y equals 8. So our other point, our y-intercept, is x equals 0 y equals 8. Notice my x and y intercept give me two points on the line. So let's see, my y-axis has to go up to 8, my x-axis has to go up to 6, and I'm not real interested in negative numbers. So maybe a set of axes that look something like this will be suitable for drawing this graph. Here's my x-intercept, where x is 6. Here's my y-intercept, where y is 8. And now I take a ruler and carefully draw a line through those two points. And there's my line. Remember, it only takes two points to get a line. The x and the y-intercept are two points. So if we have a line written in this form, that reveals the x and y intercept very easily, well, there we go. Furthermore, if we know the x and y intercepts of a graph, we can easily write down the equation of the line, not quite in standard form, but in something very close. If we know the x and y intercepts of a line, we can easily write down its equation in a form that looks like standard form, except that the numbers a, b, and c don't need to follow those three restrictions. They might not be integers. They might have common factors. a might be positive. We'll call this weak standard form. In a later lesson, we'll learn how to go from this weak standard form to 
actual standard form where A, B, and C follow all three of those rules. But this weaker sort of standard form is actually more useful for our purposes. Let me give you an example. Say we want to give the equation of the line with x-intercept 4, 0 and y-intercept 0, 7 halves. This would be hard to draw. Its slope would be hard to figure out. But in this sort of weak standard form, it's very easy to write down the equation. I'm going to write down the equation and then tell you how I came up with it. The equation is 7 halves x plus 4y equals 4 times 7 halves. Now, why does this work? Well, if I plug in the point 4, 0, x equals 4, y equals 0, I'll have 7 halves times 4 plus 4 times 0 is 4 times 7 halves. This is 0, and this is true because multiplication is commutative. If I plug in 0, 7 halves, then I have 7 halves times 0 plus 4 times 7 halves is 4 times 7 halves. Again, this term is 0. And these are exactly the same multiplication, so that's obviously true. In general, what am I going to do? Given the intercepts, well, the x-intercept would be b, comma, 0, and the y-intercept would be 0, comma, a. We can write down the equation a times x plus b times y equals a times b and that is an equation of the line. Again, not necessarily in standard form. We might have fractions. We might have common factors between these three numbers. But we will get an equation of the line written in this weak standard form by that technique. Let's see another example. We want to give the equation of this line in this weak sort of standard form. So let's see. The x-intercept is at negative 3, 0. And the y-intercept is at 0, 3. All right, where do we see that? Here's negative 3, 0. Here's 0, 3. And so following the recipe, the y-intercept gives the coefficient of x, the x-intercept gives the coefficient of y, and then that's going to be equal to the product of those two numbers. So simplifying that a little bit, our equation is going to be 3x minus 3y equals negative 9. Notice we're not following all the rules for standard form. In this case, all three of my numbers have a common factor of 3. But this is a perfectly good equation for this line. For example, if I took this point, which is on the line, negative 1, 2, and I plugged it in, 3 times negative 1, minus 3 times 2, well, that's negative 3 minus 6, which really is negative 9, which we would have hoped to see. This equation really does describe the line that we're looking at in the picture.